Hey YouTube, what's going on? It's Keys, and today we're going to take a look at the high-end, lightweight M4. Now, you guys might be familiar with the M4 as it's the default gun for your starting agent. Um, some of the variants of the M4 itself, you'll see that it does look very similar to some other weapons. So the M4 is a variant of the M4, the Liberator, the Police M4, and the Lightweight M4. This is a real-world weapon used by the U.S. Armed Forces. It has a fire base rate of 700 rounds per minute with a magazine capacity of 30 and it fires 5.56 millimeter NATO rounds. The M4 is a shorter variant to its cousin, the M16. You guys are probably familiar with that as well. And you do have four mod slots with this particular weapon. One thing to note is that the DPS might be a little bit lower on this weapon than if I equip my AK-74 or another high damage assault rifle. But the one thing to note is that the accuracy and stability of this weapon is much higher. And when you actually use some of the mod slots, um, this gun just runs and guns. It's amazing. Um, so the damage I have on mine is 8127 rounds per minute. I've modded up to 1087 and a magazine size of 57. You'll notice that the accuracy and stability here is quite high and that's going to be very helpful when you're out in PvE and PvP. Um, on mine I have Deadly, I have Provident, and Stable. Stable is an awesome perk to have. Um, as everyone knows, the Division has a huge issue with Assault Rifle Recoil right now, so anything to improve that will help. I also have a magazine, which increases my magazine size and rate of fire. I have large optics, which increases my headshot damage and accuracy. A large muzzle, which increases accuracy and critical hit chance. As well as a large underbarrel, which increases accuracy and hip fire accuracy. As you can see, I'm looking for headshot damage, accuracy, critical hit chance, and hip fire accuracy. And anything that increases the stability of this gun is absolutely fantastic. You'll notice here that unlike a lot of other assault rifles, I can actually, re uh, I can actually control the recoil of this weapon. When you're using uh, you know, other assault rifles in the game, the recoil kicks either vertically or horizontally, and in most cases both ways, and it's just really, really hard to use assault rifles. But the lightweight M4 is really awesome. Um, you can see when I go to a mid-range target, it kind of spray and prays, and you know you just close your eyes and hope for the best. But if you do burst fire rounds, you can actually control this weapon quite well. My recommendation is to shoot anywhere from six to ten bullets, release the trigger, and wait about one second, and you'll notice that the reticle does drop down, and then you can do another burst round of about six to ten bullets. So it allows you to. You know, hit a lot of your targets versus spraying all over the place and having half of your shots not hit it. This same sort of uh, burst fire mode can be applied to long range targets as well. As you can see, I'm still hitting a lot of my long range shots. And this is really a fantastic assault rifle. Um, I'm a huge SMG fan, of course. Um, you know, right now it doesn't really make sense to use much other than an SMG. But I am really surprised as to how easy it is for me to take down NPCs with this particular weapon. Um, you know, I think it really comes down to how more stable this gun is than most other assault rifles in the game. Um, anyone who's used any other assault rifle can kind of attest that it's very difficult to use. Um, I even find the lightweight M4 to be a, quite a bit easier than the Liberator as well. And I, I love playing with the Liberator in the beta. Um, I even like playing with the Liberator now, but uh, at the same time, you know, it's kind of hard to deny that, you know, auto rifles do have a stability issue. And at least with the M4, it kind of gives you a great option to, you know, be able to use the assault rifle, have fun with an assault rifle, but still be able to, you know, hit a lot of your shots. You'll notice that, uh, you know, as I'm playing through, it does an amazing job of taking care of uh, ye yellow bars as well as purples in, uh, in one uh, magazine. So it's not something where you have to reload and you're going to miss a lot of your shots and, um, you know, it's going to take you a while to, to gun down guys. And in some cases, with some assault rifles, you just end up burning through ammo really quickly and you know having only half of your shots last um, so you know don't discount this weapon if you see an M4 um, the DPS on it might be a little bit lower but you know what you're gonna want to do is pick that up and have some fun with it it's a really awesome weapon this weapons rarity ranges from worn to high end so it is available in, in every single um, rarity in the game um, it's among the lowest to mid-range uh, damage in the assault rifle family um, if you're looking to compare it directly to others for those who are interested but this is compensated by its excellent stability and its very high accuracy and the rate of fire it does fire very fast in uh, in comparison to some of the other assault rifles that you see there 
Um, you know, as you see from this gameplay, the recoil is much, much less. There's not really a lot of drift, which is a huge issue with a lot of other assault rifles. Um, even when you increase the rate of fire, you can kind of assume that, you know, from an assault rifle, um, you know, if you have a lot of kick and recoil and you start, you know, playing around with additional fire rates and making a fire very fast, it's going to be really hard to control, but that's not really the case uh, when you're looking at the M4. From an engagement perspective, this weapon does very well in long range as well as close range combat. Obviously with assault rifles, close range is optimal, but um, you know, what this, where this weapon kind of stands out from, you know, it's, it's brothers and sisters in the assault rifle family, is that um, you know, the very low recoil makes it so that you can hit a lot of your shots at a long range. Keep in mind, you really have to focus on that burst fire. Um, I, in this video, I kind of did a little bit of uh, you know spray and pray as well as burst fires to show the difference between the two. Um, but you know, as you can see, either way, you're still you know hitting a lot of your shots and doing a lot of damage. But you will notice an extremely huge difference when you look at burst fire in comparison to um, just you know holding down the trigger and spamming. Well, guys. That ends the uh, overview of the Lightweight M4. Thanks a lot for uh, watching the video. Leave a like, hit the subscribe button, and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks everyone.